am real genetic demon. And this is What's on the Tape, Season 8, Volume 1. Gosh, we're that far through. So, this week I have two tapes um, to try to see what we can find on those <clears throat> special tapes. Um, both from D Douglas Titchmarsh from his collection. Now, these are an interesting set of tapes. We actually got one to load last time in, in Season 7 when it had been flooded. So, I'm quite surprised we got so much out of it. This time around I picked two because I'm, I think there's only a couple of things on them. But we'll give it a try. So we've got a C15, and um, this one says it's got Defender on it. So I'm gonna, I'm not sure which Defender it is. It's a WH Smith tape. They can be, they can, they're, they're, they're pretty good most of the time, and this doesn't say there's anything on the other side. So um, we're gonna give that one a try. They're pretty good most of the time. Same with um, the, the Curry's tapes and the Boots tapes. They seem to be quite, quite good. So we've got that one first. And then we've got one of these um, Horizon tapes that his uncle got when working at the factory that made Horizon, uh, the, the, the Horizon tapes. So, so um, they're sort of they're sort of they're sort of special. He's got loads of them because he copied over them basically. And it says on here it's got Jungle Fever. Can you see that? And Galaxians. And then on the other side it's got Copy and it says Cat. Now it could be just Copy Cat, or could be actually Copy and Cat maybe. Anyway, um, we've got all these to try, so let's, without further messing around, let's get that one in a tape drive. Right, the tape's in the drive, so we'll go with the old usual. This is the C15 first from WH Smiths. Um, let's go with the usual, load dit dit, or load speech marks, speech marks. And we'll push the button and we'll see if it plays. I'm hoping for a good one this time round. I hope you've got a cup of coffee or something similar. I've got my coffee right here. Um, new season of 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 um, of uh, what's on the tape. We're uh, we're uh, we've got um, we've got ten more to go before I have another little little break. Now that's not a good start because we're not getting any sound. Well, this tape is very sticky. It's very sticky in the drive. It doesn't like it. There's a bad start. Okay, so we'll st swap, swap straight to the old um, external tape drive, and because that's a little bit more robust than the ZX Spectrum one, um, and we'll give it. We'll pop in the old um, uh, tape adapter that we use for the C. You know, the ones you used to get for the cars, the CD ones. So basically, it's a. It's effectively it looks like a tape. Um, it spins around, doesn't actually do an awful lot, um, but it actually acts as, a, acts as a head. It's very clever, actually, that technology. It's just, it's effectively just reversed the head that you've got um, normally inside the tape thing. So it's basically a head to a head, um, played from something else. So it meant that you could plug anything you liked into it. Let's just put that into the ear socket and let's press the play on there. We've got the play going on there. Let's push the play on here and fingers crossed. There. Oh. Oh, that sounded squeaky, didn't it? Did we hear that? Okay, go for it. No, not a good start to the season eight. But I did say that these tapes had been flooded, or certainly um, my friend Douglas, who sent these to me, said that they'd been flooded. Um, if you haven't seen, he's got a channel below. Have a little look. He's been doing um, PC Engine stuff recently, which is all um, Core FX 16. Um, I quite like those. They're, they're one of my... Oh, that's... That's a bit... Uh, that's a bit unhappy, isn't it? Right, let's rewind it back to, right back to the beginning. We'll give it another try. Yeah, it's been doing Core FX, um, uh, uh, PC Engine, um, Turbo Graphics 16 um, videos recently. They're basically the same machine, but they rebranded it for America. I don't know why they rebranded it. It should have stuck with PC Engine. I rather like the name PC Engine, to be honest with you. Um, that's not a good start. That's not a good start. Oh. Um, should we? Should we? Let's let's do. Let's get. Um, I've got a new mobile as well, so this is all getting very com complex. Let's just stop that for a second. Let me just. Let me just. I think. It, I think it. I'm going to go for whatever the first defender I find on my my mobile is. So I think that's. I think that's what we'll do. So so we'll get the old thing on. We'll go from that because that was just not playing, was it? I've actually cleaned the tape drive um, three times beforehand because I thought, do you know what? It's going to be one of those where it's going to be a bit difficult. So let's get play Zedix on. And let's just type in there Defender, and we'll find out which is the Defender we've got. Search for Quick Defender. So, um, place it actually in the comments below, by the way, if you haven't done it before. Let's find Defender. 
Popular Computing Weekly Defender. That sounds absolutely fine. Let's go with let's go with that one. Let's push the play on here. Let's push the play on there. And we'll go with this version. Oh. What happened there? Oh, I managed to hit the button. Uh, rewind. Uh, oh, hang on. Let's try that again. I don't know what I'm doing here. Stop. Play. New mobile. Managed to hit it. There we go. Defender. Right. Okay. I'm not sure that this is the same Defender, but we'll give it a try. I mean, it could be... Well, there's just blooming thousands of Defenders out there. It's not going to be Defender of the Earth, though. It could be Micro Hobbies Defender of 1985. This is 1983 Defender. I'm going to guess, from the way it's loading here, that it's actually a basic program because it came with Popular Computing Weekly. So, so that was a was that a magazine at the time? I think it was, wasn't it? So that that's probably where it actually we actually start. So, so um, four minutes in, and we've already not we've, we've barely loaded anything. Mm. Not like this, not this week, please. <laughs> Mm. It's been one of those weeks. Um, when I was starting to step, set up the camera to do this, I, I got the tripod out just to adjust the camera, so I've got a fixed point, you know, so I can do that. I uh, lifted the handle up to do it, and the handle came off my hand. And I thought, you know, that's just the nature of the beast. Last week, I, the week before, sorry, um, I, my mobile phone um, slipped out my back pocket while I was in the garden into a puddle. Um, I heard it go plop. Waited a second because I hadn't realised that uh, that that that. Uh, wait, will I create the graphics? Oh, okay, right, okay. That has stopped on there as well, so that's fine. He's creating the graphics. Um, it plopped out into a puddle um, and then never worked again. You know, you do the old rice trick and you, you hope it dries out and you, and you go, oh, please, 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 please. And I managed to get it running long enough that I could take some, 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 some a basic amount of data off it and then um, that was it, really. Um, it sort of, uh, I had to sort of make sure the backup was there, which it was, and... And then we went from there, but but uh, and then we had a I had a huge argument with Amazon about delivering on time. Um, uh, it didn't it didn't it worked out okay in the end. They gave me half the value of the phone back, which was which is all right. But but yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a difficult one. You won't control the last defender ship of the planet Spectra because it's Spectra Spectra sorry Spectra sorry not Spectra Spectra. It is your duty to kill the evil landers from a distant galaxy who are trying to kidnap humans to sell them as slaves. Cause they, of course they are. Your ship is equipped with the powerful lasers and ion drive to thrust you towards uh, the, uh, um, forward over the mountainscape of Spectre. Um, you must, I don't know why I keep saying it. Spectre. You must destroy the, uh, each lander you find. If you fail to do so, a human will be taken. Oh, no. If all are kidnapped, your planet will be blown up and you will be killed. It's a bit harsh. <sighs> Ship's controls are, let me guess, the cursor keys. No, no. Z uh, one Z. Wow. One Z. M to fire. Really? There's no other keys. All right. Press enter to continue. Uh, one for the easiest. Oh, this looks actually all right. I quite like the look of that. Oh, it's, it's definitely basic, though. It's going to scroll along. I've got one. Oh, I like the destruction. It's nice and it's nice and it's nice and basic-y, if that makes sense. I've got to destroy these landers. He's not. He's not going. He's got me. Damn. I'm going to press the break key in a bit, and we'll find out whether it is actually a basic game. That's kind of cool. It's a bit. It's. I like the fact that. Funnily enough, I kind of like the way it's just roll. It's just flying across the level and keeps it on going. That's 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 it. Oh, so I've got to stop them getting past. If I get past, I lose humans. Ah, right. Okay, so they don't pick them up. They don't do the whole defender sort of picking up from planet. If if one of these little beasts get past, my humans go look. So there's 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 ten humans left now. There's only fourteen humans on the entire planet Earth, um, as it should be, of course. <laughs> and then we. Oh, he shoots as well. Oh, he's, oh he's, he's a nasty one, him. He's he's desperate to get a, get some 
some some human some human flesh. He wants some human meat. They're, they're, apparently they don't they don't they turn into slaves. I bet they eat them. You know, that's what aliens do. You know, they do. They eat them. They don't. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not collecting them. They're not landing for them. They're they're eating the humans. I can tell. They're definitely human eaters. These ones. I quite like this actually. It's 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 a it's a it's a it's a play on the it's a simplified version of uh, Defender. I mean, you're not playing back and forth; you're just going up and down. Um, the the fact that it's quite sticky when you push up and down on the keys shows me that 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 that, that it is definitely a, um, a basic game, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with a basic game. Oh, you naughty boy! Has it left my mark on the screen? It has. Look, because it hasn't cleared it. I haven't cleared it now. There it's I'm, 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 I don't know whether I want to let the planet be blown up by them eating alien, eating, eating all the humans. I mean, to capture them as, as slaves, um, space slaves, or, or whether I want to die. I think it's been the decision has been made for me. Should we press the break, break key? Let's just do that because I'm quite nosy. I want to know. Yes, it is. It is a program. List. That's kind of cool because you could learn you could learn quite a lot from that. I bet this is I don't know if this is a type in or not from them. Um, it might have come on their magazine as a, as a freebie. But the fact that you can actually see the main loop of the game, what's going on, um, all the humans taken, what happens when that happens, when you hit a lander, that's actually not a bad basic game. That one, that's quite good. I quite like that one. Um, it's interesting. It says it was generating the graphics. I don't know why it was why that took such a a significant length of time from it to, to generate the graphics, but but uh, no, it's quite good. I quite like that. Yeah, and not a bad start, realistically, to, to to what's on the tape, regardless of the fact that it wasn't probably wasn't the one that was on this uh, this this tape here. Um, it is a bit sticky. I found it a bit difficult to rewind. To be honest with you, I'm just going to rewind it now. Um, I wonder if I can just press run and it'll just start again. If I press the break key here and just press break, break. Run. No nonsense and basic. So you'd have to know where to start the program from. It's probably listed in here actually somewhere. I like the fact that he's got his copyright there as well in his big letters that it's his copyright on line zero. I don't know where it starts. Game over loop. Initiation. Main remote control loop. There's a point that it's running, isn't there? There's a point that it's running. So, 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 right. Okay. Let's press the. Let's let's do. Let's do a new. And let's do a load. Did it again, and we'll see whether we can get the second side of this tape to, to work. It was. It was what I would call sticky. Um, if that's the right word, it, it kind of there might be some nothing because there's nothing written on it. It was a bit what we call sticky. It kind of. It kind of looks. <sighs> It, the tape drive was like, mm, I'm going to struggle. I'm going to struggle. However, I think my my um, my, my my mythical Tolkien-esque beast, the Azimuth, may be off slightly again. Um, I think they think I think if you don't use them regularly or you use them too regularly, I don't know. I suppose they. I guess it's, there's there's a there's a time thing there. Come on. Nope. Come on. Whatever you are. No. Give it a try again. Here we go. We'll give it another try. We'll see whether it works. No. Right, I'm going to put in the other tape drive and see what it is. That's, that, that annoys me because I don't have a name on the top of there. I can't even tell you whether or not this is something we we wanted to play or not. So let's put it in the other tape drive. And we'll, we'll we'll give it we'll give it a try that way because that sometimes works because you can at least turn the volume up on that and there's a, there's a way to kind of um, sort of I don't know be more aggressive with the sound maybe is the is, i don't know if that's the right word really for it but, but we can certainly do that let's uh, put that in the tape drive let's press the play so a nice external tape drive here my my dixon's tape drive i've got to work on my my oh so much different just just the tone and the volume there a little bit just a tad up Come on. Oh! Don't like it. No likey. This tape is not a good one. It's not a good one. It's not been working well. Give it one more try. I have no idea what it is, unfortunately. Typical What's on the Tape Season 8. 
I wasn't sure which tape to choose. I've got a lot of things. I've got some from uh, a chap called um, Ben Steele, and I have some um, from 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 uh, a, a chap called Eduardo from 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 Spain. Right. Well, that that end of that tape. Let's get on to the writer tape. <laughs> um, um, I've got some from a chap called Eduardo from Spain, um, and and they've they've been a kind of mixture of hit and misses. There's not been a there's not they've not been the you know like anything else. Oh. Just putting the tape thing on the floor. Um, they're kind of a you know they're they're hit and miss depending on the age you know of the tape and whatever else it is. So we've got this one which should be Jungle Fever. Now it's Jungle Fever, the Jarrell game. I can't remember if it's a Jarrell game or not. Um, it's one of the that it's sort of. It, it, it could be the Jarrell game. The interesting thing about this is these tapes were complete, these ones that... Uh... Try that again. I can hear the sound, but I can't see the, can't see the things on the screen. We might have to get the tape drive back up again. I've just put that on the floor. Mm. Nothing. Right, let's try this again. Um, I mean, the interesting thing about though, these Horizon tapes is they were definitely... They were complete. They had all of the Horizon programs on them. So, 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 uh, Douglas's uncle must have worked in the factory where they they actually produced them or recorded them, which is kind of cool as well. Um, right, let's push the play button on there. I've swapped it into the other tape drive. I'm hoping, with all hope, that it works. Turn the volume up a touch, and we'll hope that. Oh, that's better. It's the only issue with the the plus two. Um, oh. Oh, not what I think it is. Let's press the break key. Let's do a load code. Extend uh, code, because this is going to be sounds like a screen. So let's do that and see what that is. Interesting. Let's see what the, that's actually on here. But uh, yeah, they were definitely complete. So um, fingers crossed that this does what it's meant to do here, and we can see what this is. C uh, C Z. Not C Z. Now it's not. It, this is literally after the 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 sort of the 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 the, the, the header of the tape. So it's there's nothing actually there. C Z. Oh, it's a tank. Written by T Ritterman. Oh, J Ritterman. Combat zone. Arctic computing combat zone. So. The uh, list on this tape is not right. It said it was um, Jungle Fever and Galaxica Galaxians. That's fine. Combat Zone it is. Um, I'm going to assume this is a variation of the Tanks game from, from Atari, which was an arcade game initially and then became sort of... Uh, I think... Did it did it ever go on there? One of their, their, their console systems? I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that it would have been the 7800 version because that's the larger, the, the, the more powerful one, but, but I don't know. You never know, realistically. There was an awful lot of stuff that was made, you know, beautifully blocky in, uh, in, in, in the, the, the 2600 and... and, and, and and was sort of used. I always think, think about the two six hundred. I don't know if did you have a two six hundred. If you had two hundred six hundred, um, put it in the comments below. Um, and am I pronouncing it correctly? Is the next question two six hundred. I always thought it was a two six hundred. Um, wow, it actually worked. It loaded. No sound effects thus far, so that's fine. Oh, it is definitely tank zone type thing. Let's see whether we can enemy right. Yeah, it's exactly that. So, and I've got a space is fire. That's correct. Um, and I don't know what will be forward and back. And there we go. Now I played. Was it 3D tanks the other day? There we go. Whoa, missed him. I wonder what's forward and back is though. This is they've got easier controls. Uh oh. Fire. Armed. Um, I wonder what the keys are for forward and back though. I need to move forward. And back. Oh, missed him. Oh, what's forward and back? Come on. I can't see it move forward and back. I can turn left and right, but I can't see it move forward and back. Arctic software. Lots of people did these. I actually think they still think they're quite graphically impressive, if that makes sense. I think. 
Oh, can we shoot a bullet down? No, and I can't work out how I move forward, which is the blooming problem here. Um, I can't move forward. How do I move forward? That's shoot. Um, they're turning left and right, which is actually easier. For um, Some went with the more tank-like commands, if that makes sense. So you have to push the tracks forward and back. I would have thought it was QA and... Z. Is it cap shift or something stupid like that? Or symbol shift? Sometimes it's symbol shift and cap shift. Don't know. It looks quite good. It's just a shame I don't know what the keys are. Did I get it? Yes, got my first tank. Excellent. Uh-oh. He's got me, for certain. Because I can't work out how to, to, to drive forward. I've literally pushed every key on the keyboard, I think. Or maybe I haven't pushed every key on the keyboard. That's the problem. I'm trying to find the key for moving forward. Let's fire the missile. Yeah, we've done that already a couple of times. Don't know. Don't know what the key is. No idea. Um, beyond that, it's not a bad version of it by the looks of things. It's not a bad sort of tank kind of um, commanding game. Was it Command Zone? Was that what it was called? Combat Zone. Combat Zone. Oh, and there's the alien, the usual thing. It's not bad, actually. I don't mind the horizon on it. I'm, as I say, the only problem is that we, we can't blooming load. Did I get that alien? No, missed him. There's extra points for hitting the aliens. Am I going to get you? Come on. Oh, missed it. Missed it. I find that the keys are really annoying. What's the ice to know forward that I've missed? Maybe I'm not holding it down long enough to push the button. I don't know. Ah! Hang on! That's reverse. That's reverse. So it's K forward? No. L. M is reverse. M is reverse. I've got reverse now, so I can reverse anyway. Um, oh, I can do. We can play the game in reverse. O forward. P forward. M. Move. Yeah, it was alright. It's not a bad game. Don't mind that. That's, that's not what I was expecting to be on the tape, so that's even better. We like those when they're confusing and, and, and distracting and not the what we think they're going to be there. Those are the best. Let's reset the spectrum and do the old load dit dit and see what else is on here. Let's go for it. That was a, that was a surprise. That was a surprise. Right, let's go for the next one on the tape. It's quite a quick load, rush, actually, as well. Right. Oh. Lots of background noise, though. Must have been recorded at the time. Somebody pointed that out in a the video. They said that that noise was probably there at the time. However, I'm not sure that it isn't dirt and mould at this point. I don't think it. I don't think it plays back dirt and mould, but I don't think it can help the recording. To be honest with you, to get dirty or, or worn. There we go. Jungle fever. So that's definitely going to be jungle fever. Oh. Oh, coffee. This program will load the 16k version version first. If you if this is a 48k machine, it will load an additional part. This program is compo co um, compatible with the fuller uh, master unit and both the Kempston and AGF joysticks. Please do not stop the tape until the machine code has finished loading. Okay, that is correct. Now the fuller master unit. Am I am I correct in thinking this is a, a way to make better sound effects from the Spectrum? I think it was, wasn't it? If, if featured in that TV show that nobody ever talks about anymore, it was like probably two years ago now, is it? Or maybe just last year, the, the Bandersnatch sort of choose-your-own-adventure type um, TV program, which really ought to pop up on the, everybody's feed if you're a Spectrum or a, or a retro sort of um, person's 
thing because it was quite good. It was really, really quite, quite nice. The, the the idea of sort of transferring between things like that. You know, we had to choose the song that you were going to listen to, like the Thompson Twins or whatever else it is, and it was interactive at the same time as being a, a a program to watch. I really enjoyed it personally, but but it did did feature, didn't it? And then there was that hidden game, the nosedive game. I mean, that was really, really nice, but didn't they get sued? Didn't they get sued? Um, N for no joystick. There we go, Jungle Fever. Oh, um, A, A and F Software. These are the same guys that did... What's it called, didn't they? Um, Chucky Egg, what's it called? That's That really narrowed it down, didn't it? I was it waiting for me to load something else. Oh, no. No, 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 it's not. Right, the keys are... Uh, wow, those look like terrible keys. The controls are... Uh, you've been captured by pygmies, and the only way to escape through the pygmy death run, you have to leap the raging water and dodge the the, the poison Mike Webb. I'm sure I've played this before. I'm sure it's absolutely horrible. I think it's a really tough game that we all we all hated um, back in the day. Let's see, um, Jungle Fever. Yeah, okay. Give me the controls again. I might be wrong. So we've got to basically get away from pygmies because we've been captured by these pygmies. And are pygmies, um, I don't know what they are. Um, so, all right, okay. Bottom row are, i.e., blah, blah, blah. Left and right. and st I, Okay, I think that's, I think I've got it. S to start. Oh, no, it's not. It's a totally different game. Not the game I thought it was. Oh, we like the jump. Oh, this is kind of cool. The very well animated character. I like it. Oh, this is not. I was. What am I thinking of? There's a. There's another jungle game. That's kind of cool. I like that. Now I've got a pit to jump over. Oh, missed it. It was like ET all over again. I ended up in a pit. <laughs> oh, I've got to get that time that perfectly. That's actually quite good. I like this. The animation's really good. We've got to play that again. We've got to play that again. We're playing that again. Congratulations, got my name in the high score. Demon! Oh, I can't spell. Oh, that's really good. I like that. The one thing that I really like is the animation. The animation on the character, main character, is really good. He's a nice, big, bold character. And he and he's and he's got lots of animation to it. I thought this is I thought this is the other jungle. Is it Jungle Trouble the other one? Maybe Jungle Trouble by Jurel. I'm thinking of. That's probably what it is. Well, so yeah, this is good. This is hard, but it's it's oh it's so close. Oh damn! I jumped onto it. And then jumped off again too quickly. Let's, uh... Oh! This is, oh, God, this is a good one. I like it. I'm impressed. I'm going to get some more high scores in here. Let's get it. Let's get, let's get it on. This is going to happen. I like it. Yes, I do like his. I do like the, his movement. He does walk well. That's a bizarre thing to say, but he does walk well. That was terrible. I managed to get on the get on it though. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna get on this one. Ah, oh. right. It swings across. I jumped on and then jumped off accidentally. I want to get across the big, big death pit. Just a gigantic hole in this ground, and I've got no no way to do it. Congratulations, you got a high score. Yes, yes, I did. Another one. Oh, I like this. This is good. Oh, did, how did I enter nothing as my name? Oh, I did. No, it's the bottom of the, bottom of the score table. Right, okay. H, uh, S, start again. Let's do it. Now I need this one for my collection. This is just a great looking game. Jungle Fever, this is called. 
Oh, you're all willing me now, to, aren't you, to, to get across this whole thing? I'm doing such a crummy job of getting across the whole thing. Oh, what's going on? My brain's totally frazzled. No longer, no longer able to, to function correctly. It's broken. Spectrum is broken. Oh, what is going on? I can't believe it. I didn't even get a score on that one. So, so even the game hates me on that one. It's basically you get your score from time, though. So, um, do you know what's bugging me though? And it's and it's there. And it's all right. It's the little bit of branch sticking out there next to Mike Webb's name. I just added a little bit of detail, an extra bit of branch, and I get that. But why isn't it further down the tree? I do love the animation. How do I not? How am I not getting the height on that jump? I, I managed to get on there. Ah! We've got to get, we've got to get across this. It's, we've got to do it. Why? Is, hang on, it doesn't get the. Oh, it's because I'm pushing a direction. I'm pushing a direction when I'm doing it. I should just press the jump. No, it's not. It's because I'm not pushing the direction. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I need to push direction. Oh, balls! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fell in the pit again. <laughs> that, that pygmy pit is just a killer, isn't it? It really is. Right, okay, let's go for it. Okay. Um. Do you know I'm absolutely boiling right now? I put the heating on in the house because everybody's got everybody's got a cold. So I thought I'll be really kind. I'll turn the heating up a little bit. And now I'm sitting here just roasting. I'm, I'm absolutely boiling. It's just it's just not even funny. And I can't jump this pit. Sometimes I just oh my brain is so dis disorientated. I should, I'm, but I'm really enjoying it. I want one more go. One more go. You can wait one more go, can't you? That is really good. I'm really enjoying this. It's just a great little game. As I say, these are the same people who created Chucky Egg. I don't think Mike Wegg created Chucky Egg, though, from, from memory. Oh, gosh. I've got to make it across here. You know what? It's one of those games It's like, the only person who's, who's mucking up is me. I'm the only person who's mucking up. The only person who's making a, um, a mistake here is me. Yes! Oh, yes! You've got to push the direction and go. Okay, what are these? killer crabs oh once you start running though it doesn't stop running this time round watch you have to go forward you can't go back on that oh it doesn't let you turn round both directions go forward oh do do I got to the killer crabs yeah, it won't you let you go to the to the right anymore, so you can't run away from these. No! You damn crab! Or whatever you are, vole creature, land crab. I can't believe that, though. We, we got past the pit. It was really good. I really like that. That's, that's actually got some real skill involved in that one. Really like that one. Let's carry on, though. But that was really good. That was called Jungle Fever by ANF Software. Well worth looking up, that one. Yeah, emulate that one. That's a, that's a challenge and a half. I like that. I think I think, I think I'd quite enjoy that. I don't know how many rooms are involved in it, but I definitely think I would, I would enjoy playing that one. That's brilliant. Right, let's press play. Let's go for it. That's Jungle Fever. So, in theory, this should be Galaxians. That's that's what the theory is. I do like a bit of Galaxians. And I know certainly know Douglas um, loves his uh, retro challenges with his sort of 80s shoot 'em ups 70s and 80s shoot 'em ups and, and, and older sort of games. So, so, I'm really hoping this one's on here because that would be cool. Let's play him. That's a big gap. <laughs> Jungle Fever. Nothing so far. There must be more on here. I hope it's not on the other side of the tape. This could be part of the uh, Horizons thing if it isn't. No, Bites Galaxian. Oh, it's a Bites Galaxian. Let's, let's break and let's put load code. Do you know what though? Do you not do you not feel that, that the old the, the load code thing was a bit of a bit of a cop out from the developer? Because all you needed to do was put a little header on the beginning that basically did you know a basic program and then did the load code, and that's all it was. And they just 
do it. So I went full on, well, I'll just go bytes because people can do load code. I guess it was the time, wasn't it? And, you know, um, I bet there was a lot of games that people didn't actually load because it said load code. You know, they put it in, maybe even took them back. Do you think there'd be a lot that were taken back? I bet there was. I bet there was an awful lot of games that were actually taken back. So, so because of because of that, Arctic Galaxians, Arctic, uh, they weren't a budget brand. I always thought they were, but they're not. Um, so it's cap shift and Z to move left and right, space to fire. I can do that. I'm hoping it's a good Galaxians as well, because there's some really good ones out there. I do like a bit of Galaxians. I do like Galaga too. I think they're great. Gallagher 88, quite like that one as well. A lot of people don't because it's, you know, later in generation, whatever else it is. And it's got sort of cleaned up graphics, but actually it's still a fantastic game. I played it on the PC Engine the other day. I was like, yeah, this is the, this is this is my jam. And I have it on the, I have the Galaxian and Galaxians, Gal, sorry, Gallagher and Galaxians, sorry, on the uh, on the Evercade. Um, and I, I find myself playing Gallagher while I do because I, I like to do... I like to do at least uh, an hour's worth of walking a day just for health, sort of just to keep yourself, you know, fit and healthy, whatever else it is. And to be fair, that's actually quite a... That's just enough. That's all you need to do. And just we're not talking, talking like hard walking, just just to do the sort of, you know, your old steps kind of thing. Um, so I find myself with the... With, with the... With, with it... With the... Uh, with the with the old um, Evercade in my hand, just, just playing, you know, Gallagher. Just walking up and down the garden, pressing, you know, buttons for Gallagher. Anyway, one. One player... Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's silky smooth. It's silky smooth. Oh, brilliant. What a great conversion. Is it Namco originally made it? This is good. Oh, wow. Do I have this in my collection? If I don't, I should. I don't know if I have or not. Wow. I'm going to look for this shortly, I think. I'm going to have a little look for it. Galaxians by, by, by Arctic. Brilliant. Oh, that's smooth. Proper old school. It's basically a, 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 a build on the original um, uh, Space Invaders idea, but with, uh, you know, ships that drop down and, and fly along. This is a really good game. This is this is a proper challenge game. This is one way, you, you know, this is accessible to everybody. There's not a lot of... There's not... There's, it's, it doesn't... Uh, there isn't anything um, that's going to... Oh, do you see that? There was some skills involved in that. Um, this is seriously accessible. It is a good-looking game. It's a good-looking. It's a oh, wow! It's silk. It's smooth. It's so smooth. I'd have been delighted with this back in the day. I'd have played this quite a lot with friends. I think, especially as it's so. It's it's. You know, it's so close to the arcade version of it. I mean, it really is. There's not, there wasn't a lot in it. I mean, let's be honest. The arcade game itself would have been an eight, eight bit sort of system. The only thing that you got here on Spectrum version is a bit of color clash, which you can't really do an awful lot about because it's the Spectrum. Um, it was designed with text in mind, even though then everybody played games on it. And that, I think, do you know? Do you not think that was a little? I mean, and 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 we we all love Sir Clive, but do you don't think it was a bit short sighted of the chap to think that uh, if he sells makes a affordable cheap computer that it isn't going to be used for something else? You know, with everybody um, that sort of rage of computer stuff at the time, you know, everybody getting into computers and micro bit microcomputers. Do you not think that there maybe he was a bit short sighted to not think that people would play games on it? I mean, they did actually sell games as part of their sort of uh, spectrum sort of uh, uh, lineup of the whole thing, but but maybe it was a little tad, tad naive to think that uh, we we wouldn't, you know, if it was so cheap that people wouldn't sort of code gaming on it. Maybe I don't know, because I know he didn't like it, and I know he didn't like it at all. But when you see games like this that are running on his device and they're just running really smoothly, and as I've often said, that the those single screen sort of arcade games on the Spectrum are just phenomenal. They really are. It's really, really, really good. And this is one of those games. It's just, it's just fantastic. It works really well. It plays really well. I've gone to the ship. I'm playing so well. I'm going to the ship, and I'm talking to you, and I've just died because I've been talking to you. Um, but, but yeah, and maybe I think that was possibly. Maybe maybe he didn't realise that was going to be the case. I guess it was so new, wasn't it? That as well, the technology at the time that that uh, I'm giving him excuses as well. You know, maybe it's because the technology was so new at the time, he never thought that that um, he thought that maybe we were all going to be seriously business like with the kind of thing. I guess the games weren't that kind of. They were there though, weren't they? They were arcade games and things like that. Mm, don't know. Don't know. 
maybe not short sighted maybe just maybe just it was so new i mean can you imagine i mean if 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 you thought about it really and and sort of maybe stuck with it as a as a, a, a you know with the sort of the the gone gone to the spectrum next version of the spectrum if that makes sense um you might have you might it might have it might have then spawned another version another computer i mean the, the thing about the micro bit uh, micro computer sort of revolution in the the united kingdom was that that we we spawned so many fantastic programmers some of which are still extremely active today um so many beautiful graphic designers and artists and pixel artists and things like that we spawned those um because of the the, the home computer nature and the cheapness of it and whatever else is we didn't funnily enough we didn't want games consoles as such i didn't i'm not sure i did want a games console if that makes sense i think i i think i i, I mean i looked at the the nest i remember looking at a nintendo entertainment system and thinking how nice it looked but but i think we we we, we spawned a generation of things yet we never we never capitalized on it um due to sort of I, I, we didn't have infighting. We didn't have we didn't have computer game crashes like the 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 the, the Americans did. We just we just we just carried on. But but um, we could have the the Americans had the, the the PC. But we we could have we could have been there if that makes sense. The PC worked though because it was cloned. That was the big thing about the PC. Let's be honest. It was a it was a cloning thing that caused the the whole thing to kind of take off. Um, can you imagine if we'd been able to clone Spectrums? Well, they did, didn't they? In 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 uh, in, in Russia. But anyway, I, I'm just I'm waffling now. I'm waffling. It was just a just a nostalgia trip there for me. That's brilliant. That was absolutely excellent. I really like that Arctic version of it. Let's get on with the next game and see if there's anything else on this tape. Now, we could end up loading the Horizon bits, so let's see see whether or not there's Horizon stuff still on here. Um, it'll be interesting to see. We've got about half the tape to go, so we've got a fair bit amount, amount of tape to go, which isn't too bad, um, but I'm hoping that we... we, we well, I'm not hoping. I'm, I'm going to see... We'll, we'll, we'll see what appears now. And we'll see whether it's something Horizon-y. Yeah, it's Horizon tapes now. This is Lesson 2. Let's just load it for the hell of it and see what Lesson 2 was. I can't remember what the lessons were. I did actually promise that. Do you, here's, here's, I'm going to give you an option, right? And I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll you bung, your, bung your answers in the, the comments. We've got, you've got 10 weeks to think about it, so, 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 so um, choose wisely um, is the answer. Um, I want to finish, um, because I, the, the, the special with... Um, um, Soft Aid was very, very popular indeed, um, and I, I quite enjoyed the fact that it was so popular. And I'm pleased, and it was kind of a lovely nostalgia trip for me, actually loading a compilation. I was uh, one of those kids who couldn't afford those, that couldn't afford was you know get the budget games, but I couldn't afford the more expensive games. So I used to look look forward to compilations. So I, I was a big compilation fan. I, I you know when I got them, I was dead chuffed for them. You know, I was like, yes, compilations. You know, they they were the thing. Now I put on my I put on my um, I put on my uh, Twitter page the other day a picture of the um, Hit 6 pack, um, which basically included uh, split personalities, uh, a game duet, which was never released in any other way. It's kind of a gauntlet game. It's kind of cool. I forgot all about it until I started looking at it again. Um, there was a number of other games on there, Scooby-Doo, Fighting Warrior, um, 1942, and a number of other games. Um, so there's that, it's that compilation, or... I could do the horizon, so I could do the the lessons and the games that were on the horizon tape as sort of a nostalgia trip for everybody. So I'd like to do one of those two compilations as the tenth episode for what's on the tape. So in the comments below, let me know which one you prefer to see, and I'll, I'll basically choose it based on what you guys want. So if you want horizons um, for the last one, I'll do horizons, and if you want the um, um, hit pack um, number six, which has got the Scooby Doo and the uh, other games on it. Um, with the duet, which is kind of one that you don't see uh, separate, it never came separately. Um, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to do both, to be honest with you, because at some point I will do both. But let for the end of this season, season eight, the end of season eight, let me know what you think. Right, let's press K for our keyboard training. Yes, I love these because they've got the buttons on the keys around there, which make no sense at all to when I'm on a plus two. Apparently it never came with the uh, um, Z48K+, Plus, which I think is really disappointing because this is one of my favourite things about it. When you when you opened up the Spectrum for this first time and there were those lovely polystyrene inserts and there was the power pack in one side and the Spectrum on the top and then underneath you had the, the tape. It's one of those things I really, really loved. It was just, it was just amazing. Sinclair Spectrum test. In the following programme assumes that they're expecting a basic keyword... Press stop to exit. 
Press the load key. Oh, that's easy because we know where load is. Load. Enter. Enter the let key. Oh. Can we guess? Oh my goodness, I got that without any keys on the keyboard. Let. Enter the randomized key. I think it's here. <gasps> Blowing my own mind. That's another key with nothing on it. That's a T key. Enter load. I've done load. Save. Ooh. Wrong. I think it's on the S key, actually. You pressed go sub. I did. You're right. It's on the S key. What? I, I should have known that. I, there's actually some logic to it. Press the flashing key. I pressed it. There. Leave me alone. <laughs> Beat me up. Right, okay. So I'm going to flip the tape over and push the rewind button. We'll, 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 until it rewinds, we'll, we'll push buttons on here. Press the poke key. Um, it's on zero, I think. Yeah, I don't know why it's on zero. I think P is print, you see. Enter the new key. I know where new is. That's on, that's on A. Um, that's just rewound. Continue key. It's not on C, is it? Wow! That's quite logical, really, isn't it, in the end? Right, we've done with that anyway. Let's press break. We can actually list the program if you really want. Whee! There it is. On we go. Let's go back on. Let's go to the second side of the tip. Now, this has got cat, cat, uh, copycat. Now, it's either a game copycat or it's uh, something else. So, let's just load this and find out what we've got here. I've left it in the tape drive, I'll just put the external one and we'll just go in the whole external at this point. Let's go load it it and we'll get on with it. <laughs> Pleased to see my new mobile worked fine though when we did that load of that Defender which was really quite good for a basic game. Quite like that one. I wonder if it came... Oh, it is called Copycat. Um, I wonder if it came... There is a... I'm looking above my head. There is a PCW game. That's not working, is it? That's not working at all. Oh, it is? That's weird. Um, there is a PC... Uh, PC. I, I mean, I think it was PC Computing, wasn't it? Oh, it was a PCW. It's probably the same thing. Um, basically, it's a, a software... software, But match... A, a, it comes with a massive book um, and a tape full of basic games. And the book's... Com um, tells you what the basic games are so it's like cassette 50 but without the cassette 50 stigma of being a bunch of basic games being sold as games it's actually a book being sold as programming thing with i'm uh, sorry a game no yes a book educational thing with a bunch of games so you can learn how they're programmed by by actually having by oh it's for copying games with um press record and play then press any key there we go it's recording games we're not going to do that I don't know what that is. I think it's copying itself. That is so weird. That is so weird. Copy, 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 copy. Yeah, it's uh, copying itself. Let's see if there's anything else on this tape. It might just be the uh, rest of the horizon bits and pieces, but we'll give it a try. I'm really disappointed that last the last tape didn't work there. All right. Okay, let's press the play button. Yeah, I'm disappointed by that. I've got quite a lot of Arctic games. But I don't have that one. You know what the one I was thinking about doing? This has been probably copycat again, to be honest with it. No, wall. Oh, it's through the wall. We'll load this anyway, because I like through the wall. So we'll have a go with load the, with through the wall. Hey. Was that the second game on the tape? It must have been. We're not going to load the rest of them because they're all, they're obviously all the rest of the rise and things. I'm just, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm looking, I'm staring kind of over my head at various things. It's not happy, is it, with the, with the, with, with this one. Wall G? It might not be through the wall. I don't know. Them bars are horrible on the screen there. I would have said that's totally as a move off, but I, I don't know. It might just be the, the tape itself because usually those bars are straight. No, it is through the wall. 
Through the Wall was one of my first games that I ever played. In fact, I can remember playing this and being absolutely enamoured by it. Basically, Through the Wall is, and assuming I can do it, OP and cap ships for extra zip. zip. This is a basic program with a little bit of machine code in it to speed up certain elements of it. And I loved this. Um, except I'm really rubbish at it. And I just love playing this. I used to play this for hours. Um, even though I'm now rubbish at it. And I think I remember being particularly poor at it. And that's all it does. It's just through the wall. Um, and you used to have to make a hole. And that was your major major thing was to make a hole, hole through the wall. This is one of the games on the horizon. I'm just pushing the extra zip there. I was quite impressed with this. I remember that. But if you notice, it only bounces at 45 degree angles. Have you noticed? 45 degrees are exactly straight upright. So there's actually not a lot of... There's not a lot of... Uh, um, clever programming going on. There's no there's no ball dynamics, if that makes sense. If you hit it in a specific place, it'll bounce straight up. Um, and if it bounces in, in somewhere else, it will bounce at a 45 degree angle. But it works! It plays well. It works. It works. It works really well. There you go. Straight up. Managed to get the right place. Now it bounces off at an angle, even though there was definitely no angle involved in that. I think Becker's big back then as a kid, you'd have been like, yeah, yeah, this is great. I certainly was, anyway, when I got my Spectrum. I didn't get my Spectrum the first year they came out. My Spectrum I got in 1983... Um, I think then the, the microprocessor thing was, you know, I probably badgered my parents enough that we, we should get a family computer. And it was meant to be a family computer, but it ended up being mine, as the usual way that it goes, wasn't it, back then. Nobody really spent any time on it or did anything with it. And it that ultimately became my career, you know, but uh, working with computers. And up. And back up. <laughs> Doing alright on the wall, aren't I? Well, that was fun. This has been a fun episode. We've got some that to load. We actually didn't do badly with the loading, to be honest. We had one that didn't, didn't we? Um, that we had to, to, to flip to the to the tape. Was it one or two? One. I think it was. Um, and that that W H Smith tape, unfortunately, is it's it's had it. It's not. It's not. It's a sicky tape. Um, but but. Uh, Look at that, just shooting past. Extra zip! Missed it with extra zip. I don't know how many balls you get, actually. Is there a point that you die, or does it just keep going forever? Oh, no, it does. I, I think you get about five lives there. And if you press the break key, you can list the code as well. Because it was the idea was so you could learn. Isn't that clever? Well, I say clever, isn't that, isn't that sensible? If you would, the, the whole point was it was meant to be not just a games machine, it was meant to be a, a you know, so the, half the tape was games, and one side was like, learn your spectrum, learn learn how your spectrum works. I thought it was really quite good. I quite enjoyed that at the time. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering whether or not it was worth playing one more game just for the, for, for the, for the sheer hell of it, but I was trying to pick a... I was trying to think in my head what game we should play. I think, I think I'm going to leave it there. And um, we'll come back next week. But you, you think about what what you'd like to see for the last episode of What's on the Tape. You tell me, tell me whether or not you want to see um, a a final sort of uh, um, sort of uh, hit pack, hit packs pack six, or the Horizon Tape. You let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.